What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Let's get the V back. Gotta get the uh gotta get the other the other two that I have recorded, the last two. I gotta upload them. I gotta get them up. Maybe this is no, the last one. I don't know. I don't even know. I am at a spot where I realize if I'm gonna do YouTube and I've got some I've got some personal beef with big platforms. Meaning I'm looking, I'm doing a lot of long-term planning right now. You know, fresh start of the year, and I'm also just at a spot where that's where I am in life. Like the, the last three years of my goals are concluding this year. Like I wanted to buy a property, clear a property, build a homestead, etc., etc., And I'm basically there, I'm basically there. Always more to be desired. I need like a Tony Stark shop and a uh, couple cars. Never owned a car personally. I always had trucks because of work and things like that. But I would like to, uh, you know, there's a, there's more to be desired. Like to do a pool, you know, all that stuff. Gotta finish, finish. But and, and that'll that'll wrap this year. So I'm doing longer term planning. Like okay, at the end of this year, what what if, what am I doing next? What's my next moves? Um, larger platforms. You can build. You can work. The key to these things is you hit clicky content. News stories are great. Trends are great. I've got software that tells me what those are. Uh, Negativity is awesome, and I don't love that, but that's what works. It works. Um, and then just push in a lot of content. And yeah, yeah, you can be positive and whatever, but like if you really want to crush it, you need to be like, you know, the economy is collapsing, like with a thumbnail and whatever. And it's like, yeah, yeah, but like, what about your economy? Like, what about you? Like, my personal economy is freaking crushing it. And it's been on like the ascent for 15 years. There's been dips for sure. But like, are there gonna be future dips? If there's a future dip in a macro environment, personally, I'm probably gonna freaking slingshot off of that. And so like, we might be in an environment where like, you know, it's like Forrest Gump where he's out there in the hurricane, all the shrimp boats are just getting wrecked. And at the end of it, he's just killing it because there's no, there's no competition. Um, so I'm at a spot where I gotta start building a team around my weaknesses to build on these platforms. But I'm also kind of out on the idea of these platforms. Yeah, building an audience is important. Uh, uh, attention, like, you know, resources flow towards attention. You know, example, if I had a million subscribers and I did a real estate offering, like there's some property out here, I'm looking at the numbers and I'm like, ah, oh, dude, these kids cash flow. I can make 15, 20% returns guaranteed. Uh, and inflation will only help us, right? The revenue will go up and the cost will stay the same. Um, and you know, you have enough subscribers, you can absolutely, uh, you know, or enough attention, enough network. Let's put it that way. Let's call it network. Uh, and you want to do a big raise? Like, yeah, that's that's good. That's positive. That's why we do this stuff, right? Is like, what is your end game? You want to help influence other people? Awesome. I'm all about. It. That's what I do. I don't sell anything on here. I do sell time. I do sell coaching. My email is always listed below. I do coaching calls. They're hundred dollar coaching calls at present. I would like to increase that. It just depends. I haven't. You know, I don't commit to a lot of time coaching. I, I'll do like five calls a week. I'm not doing more than that. Maybe I'll raise the price and do more. You know, make it you know, worthwhile my time. Maybe, maybe, I don't know. Um, I have products in the works. I've got a group in the works. That's what I'm really focused on is my my Kulak group. That's for guys that are doing investing and are really kind of over on the Light Capital channel. Like, and, and just business guys in general, like talking about business and, and any business, anything. Um, and then I've got a very targeted mastermind group with my buddy Jeremiah, who's an absolute killer in the tree industry. And it's the tree game. Like that's what, that's what it is. Like we talk about land clearing. We talk about mulching. We talk about trees. Uh, that, that's what, well, that's our focus It's like, that's it. And you know, getting guys to their revenue goals. Personally, my revenue goal is a mill. Want to hit a mill? You know, that's, and so I'm planning that out backwards. How many trucks is that? How many guys is that? You know, how much net profit is that? Okay, well, you know, that's my goal currently at present. And, um, and so that's how I've monetized it. With that, I have come to realize in my sabbatical here of taking like a hundred and something days off of YouTube, I've gone down the rabbit hole of um, you're gonna own everything. <laughs> All right, like when you get on the internet in five or 10 years from now, there's gonna be one of two realities. One, you're gonna get on there and you're gonna know, they're gonna know exactly who this individual is. Um, so you, from your social media profiles to your search history, all that stuff is obviously known, right? It's basically public. But it, you're, you're the product. 
you know, it, it, they've got this platform and you're like, can I be on Instagram? Are you gonna allow me to be on Instagram? Like, can I be on YouTube? What if I say something wrong? Are you gonna kick me off of YouTube? Ooh, are you gonna kick me out of the financial system? You're in Canada and you're a bad boy trucker. Are you gonna get, you, is your bank account gonna get closed? All right, but here's the solution. You're gonna get smart and move to Bitcoin and hold it in your own freaking wallet, in your own little, little drive. Oh, but Bitcoin's tracked, I know. So you're gonna get really smart and you're gonna go to Monero. But, but, but Monero is really cheap. Yeah, look at what happened to Bitcoin and it stands to reason the second they start cracking down on like people actually using this, using this stuff, not hoarding it, not speculating on it, but like, hey man, I'm selling a truck. I'd like to give you half a Bitcoin for it. People using it, exchanging with it. Like in some jurisdictions, that'll be fine. It'd be great, actually. If I bought real estate, for example, I would love to pay it for it in Bitcoin and Bitcoin only. And the reason for that is I have a timestamp. I have record of like the transaction. I can do it on a Sunday. You could have an NFT representing the title of the property and I could have Bitcoin and we could exchange. And the transaction's done. And we don't have to pay a 6% sales commission which is crazy. Imagine buying something and you're paying 6% sales commission on the asset every time you sell, like buying stocks. It's crazy. Uh, we could democratize it. Oh, I want to there's a piece of land right up here. I'm driving by and last year was for sale. It was like four mil and I was like, all right, you know, it's out of my reach right now. 100 acres. I like it though. You know, I like the locations freaking minty. It was nice, you know, for anything, for a recycling facility, for a neighborhood later, for a personal ranch, you know, and that's kind of random. It's a farm. 100 acres is farm status. So it's my, my neighbor, Dale. See you, Dale. Uh, and so, like, and it was, and then they dropped the price, and I guess it sold, it sold to two different corporations, whatever. It wasn't a position to grab it. Um, but had I been able to go... All right, I'm gonna go grab five buddies. We're gonna go tag this out. Which one of my buddies wanna go down 750 each? You know, eh, maybe I don't have those buddies right now. Uh, maybe we finance it and everyone wants to go down 150 each. All right, maybe, maybe, you know, that's in my friend group, possibly. What if I could go to you guys and say, hey guys, I'm buying this 100 acres in Sarasota. I wanna put a recycling center on it. Um, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna divide it amongst a thousand guys. Um, you, need, you, you need four grand. All right, you're in. Well, the reason I mention this is uh, he, the, the, the storm came. You know, we had a hurricane here. That's why I've been gone. And I was working a mulch deal for all the storm waste in this town. And I got it and I didn't get it. I, but I did get it, but I didn't get it, get it. And at the very beginning, we're looking at three to four million in mulch. Uh, you, if you had a hundred acres. So, because it was getting transported 40 miles there, 30 miles there. But the mobile grinding sites, you know, are three miles there and 12 miles there and seven miles there. And had I had that property and I had democratized it and I got a thousand partners in it, but I'm the managing entity, I'm the managing party. Um, I, I would have doubled the money. Like, you know, and we wouldn't have known that at the beginning. You know, at the beginning, we would have been like, hey, I'm going to Airbnb some RVs out here. Maybe do some, allow some full wheeling, maybe some hunting here and there, maybe farm part of it. You know, we'll have cash flow. It's $4 million, uh, to buy. And, uh, you know, we'll we'll make 300 a year after expenses. So whatever, you know, on your four grand a year, you know, you're going to make some passive income. You're going to make a couple hundred bucks. But however, the storm came and we got lucky and your four grand has now been returned to you because we literally got paid by FEMA to take that. Now we have not only the four or three mil from the from FEMA, like from, oh, we gotta dispose of this waste, but that waste is worth $10 a yard to me. And, and <laughs> there was over 500,000 yards of it from one contractor, there were three contractors. Like I'll, I'll go into it in, in another video on how the storm uh, organizational flow charts work. I've done like three storms at this point. I got it kind of pretty figured out. So, like that would be awesome, right? Like, hey guys, thanks for your four grand last year. Hey, we got lucky. I put your four grand. Oh, it's in your wallet. It's already in your wallet. It's already done. Like I converted it over. I got paid in dollars. I flipped it to Bitcoin. It's in your wallet. It's done. It's over. Check your wallet. I have a timestamp of sending it to you. Oh, I didn't get the email. Yeah, I got the timestamp actually. You did. It's not in, yeah, it's there. It's official. It's done. 
do whatever you want with it. Um, you still own the land, by the way. You still own the land, and by the way, the land is now worth more because they keep printing money. Um, and it happens that uh, on top of the land that you own one thousandth of, uh, you, you, we now have seven, six to seven million dollars in mulch product. We gotta sell it. We gotta sell it. But we got now six million in mulch product. Well, now your four thousand dollar investment is now twelve. But see, to have done that, you needed to have four mil originally, or at least 500 mil to put down and credit and cash flow to, to sustain it. And then it was a luck thing. We didn't know that was gonna happen. But if you could democratize it, you could take regular people and you could do anything. And guys like me that are very entrepreneurial minded could go out and you guys could judge me on my track record. There'd be an actual timestamp on, on what we're doing. Like, oh yeah, that's how, that's how well he did on that one. And we could do blockchain metals. I know there's a few guys over, especially on the Light Capital channel, and um, that are like Dobro, only only gold and silver is money. I kind of, I, I, I mean, I'm with you. I get it. But like, also crypto, man. Like, it, we're in crypto winter for sure. That's exciting to me. Um, when people really start hating on something, I really like it. They're not hating yet, so I don't, I don't love love yet. But like, when when people are really, you know, starting to jump out of buildings over it, yep. Because look forward 20 years, man. What are your options? Like corrupt Western elites, sanction every country in the world until we have no trading partners. The cost of gasoline is $50 a, a, a gallon. And they have a digital crap currency that they print a trillion of uh, a month. Nah, it's not an option, bro. Like, so at some point in time, we're gonna need other options. At least if you wanna do business with me, you're gonna need other options. And then my job is to create as much value for people as possible so that I can dictate terms. Like for example, I'd like to build a product. There's a product I wanna buy. Uh, there's a company for sale, I own one of them. There's a boat that I have and the company's for sale. I wanna buy this company, same deal. Democratize the company and I might do that because it's a small deal, I might do it. I need about a mil to do this company right. My end goal would be Boston Whaler buys me. Um, another video, but like I think I've got it worked out uh, where I, they're gonna have to buy me. Like I think the product is literally that good and I think my advertising ideas could just, I could just hound them all day. Like every day we go out and we just crap on Boston Whaler. And I love Boston Whaler, that's my favorite boat of all time. But like the seal is so much better than the Whaler. It's so much more beast. And, um, and anyway, so we could democratize things. With the platforms and the internet, uh, you're gonna own your content, dude. You're, you're gonna go to a platform at some point in time that's gonna be like a meeting hub but your data is gonna be on your server, on your computer. Computers will change. You won't have uh, one terabyte of hard drive, you might have five terabytes of hard drive. You won't be paying Apple for two terabytes or one terabyte or half a megabyte, whatever the heck. But like, you, you will instead you know, own that content. That's, my, that's what I think is gonna happen. One reality is you get on and they track you and they know who you are and they block you and they can cancel you and, the other reality is you own your own money. It's yours, it's in your possession. You own your own content. It's yours, it's in your possession. What I'm getting at is YouTube won't be here forever, obviously. But like, it's, even, it's, it's crap even right now. But it's important to play because this is where the conversation is right now. It's important to be here. The reason I've started those additional groups and emails below, hit me up in those emails if you were like, yo, I wanna, I wanna connect on a bigger level. Um, and those are $100 a month groups. So happy to have you there. They're like half off if you pay in crypto. I am trying to build a parallel economy. That's what I wanna do. But at some point in time, I'm gonna say something, they're gonna cancel it. All the hard work I put into this thing is gonna be like, pfft for nil. I'll have the videos, but I'll be kicked out of the conversation. Well, like I'm already in another conversation that's happening at a smaller level, like Bitcoin in 2011. And I was in that conversation. I didn't play as big as I should have played, but it did okay. Now that I've seen it with 10 year perspective, what happened from 2011 to 2021? What's gonna happen from 21 to 31? Okay, I see it now. Posse up, build audience, get my group tight, monetize the group because resources are needed. That's just facts. Resources are needed. Free information is just that, it's free information. You wanna go deeper on a bigger level? You wanna like actually talk about, hey, what did Trev buy today? What did he sell today? What's he do? What are you thinking? What are your long term? This crap I don't say on this channel. Like, you know, like I just can't. Uh, with that said, wrap up. I am gonna need a team. I'm gonna need a team to help me put together content. I'm gonna make the videos. I wanna finish this video right now, hit done, hit upload to Dropbox, have a thing on the truck that, you know, freaking beams it, you know, like one of those little mobile, like you can send it over your phone and stuff, but I, I wanna pay for like, you know, faster speed, basically, you know, like one of those Wi-Fi things. 
Um, and some dude at, you know, every six hours, whether two, three guys or whatever, is like, upload, done, thumbnail. Someone does the thumbnail, I'm not wasting my time on thumbnail, I can't do it. Like, do the, re the description in the bottom. Um, comments, I'm gonna respond back to comments, but like, you know, like, let's make sure those comments are getting taken care of a lot faster. So if I'm not able to see them until like a day later or two days later, there's too many of them, let's make sure that like someone's in there prioritizing and say, hey, Trav, you need to see this in the next, you know, on your next time that you sit down at your computer, these are your five tops, you know, et cetera, et cetera. I'm gonna need to build a team. I'm gonna pay guys to be in the team. Also why we're gonna use crypto for this team. Um, also why my group is gonna start funding this. So if you're like, hey, um, here's what I need. And you guys that can rock WordPress, like you need to be a ninja. You, you need to be like, yo, dad, I, I got, I got experience, man. Like, here's the sites I've done. Here's the projects I've done. I need someone that can um, API Gravity Forms into WordPress. A few things like that. Um, Twilio, it's a phone system. I need someone to be able to API that into. And I'm not going to use Twilio because they're too woke. But like, I need a Twilio competitor. I think I got them. Uh, but I need that to be API, so I have different phone numbers for different locations for different things. Um, I need video people that want to do like, okay, go to the Dropbox, take the video, maybe make some cuts, maybe whatever. Like, like look at the analytics and be like, what's working? I'll tell you this, this is gonna be a 17 minute video, way too long, way too long. But there are very loyal people that watch 17 to 21 minute videos, they prefer them. But what really works, seven minute, eight minute. So let's chop videos, let's take subjects and beat them. Like I can hit a subject right now on like why I think YouTube is going away in a big kind of way and what's gonna replace it and yes, how to monetize and like make money off that. I can hit that in five minutes, but like, okay, let me hit that video and then let's get that going. Um, so I'm gonna need help with that. Email below, it will pay. It's not a huge revenue thing now. It's gonna be a huge revenue thing. Like we're gonna build this to six figures in revenue ideally this year, and then we're gonna to continue to pump it. Six figures in revenue is 100 grand. If you got a team with two or three guys, you're part-time, you know, it's not a huge profit thing, but it's it's like, okay, now we're now we're good. Now we're starting to create content. And I need guys to help like on all sorts of things, even in like my trade. My trade is in the trees, the tree space. And, um, and so, you know, just for those groups and stuff, there's websites that need to be maintained. There's, you know, deals, like, you know, equipment, for example. We need to be able to database that equipment. There's no good resource places for, you're looking for a mini track skit. Give me all the stats in one spot. That needs to be on the on-site travel website, period. Like, we need to associate that brand and then we're gonna have to scale the brand. I want there to be other on-sites, other places. I want there to be more on-sites, a lot more on-sites. So, thank you guys for your attention. Thank you for your patience while I've been gone. Thank you for being here and being a loyal subscriber and fan. And if you'd like to squad up and be on my team, I would absolutely appreciate it. Thank you.